how the heck did I got into uh, starting a YouTube channel? Welcome to the channel. I mean, this is the kind of an introduction to how I got into YouTube. I mean, why start a YouTube channel in 2021? That's not just a lot of questions that some of my friends had asked me, but even myself has been asking, you know, why do I even start? It's so late to the game, you know, the, the platform and the, the kind of community might be a bit saturated and that's what a lot of people might say. I'm gonna start by a little bit of introduction to like kind of what my background is and hopefully uh, shine some light into some of the decision that I made. Uh, I personally study fine art and so I have a fine art background majoring in photography and also uh, after graduating uh, assisting professional photographers and getting into the kind of professional practice. I run a studio here in Hong Kong with my wife um, she is also a photographer and then we are uh, basically focusing on mostly commercial projects uh, that come our way from uh, the point of um, you know concept development art direction to preparation uh, shooting and editing so the whole kind of scope but also we sometimes do a part of the production process if the client uh, wants us to just take part of it. And uh, that really, you know, uh, range from fashion, food, products, uh, interior, um, and also producing artworks for site-specific uh, projects such as hotels and uh, residential uh, projects as well. Um, so a pretty wide range, uh, if you might say, because that's also because we have two uh, photographers who also think differently, I would say. My wife and I, we also think uh, in different uh, ways when approaching to a project and that also complement each other uh, as well and obviously sometimes contrast as well so uh, that's kind of the background uh, occasionally when I'm invited I might do sharings in universities and art schools as well uh, so that's about it how the heck did I got into uh, starting a YouTube channel when COVID hit us hard um, Everyone was staying at home and it's just this whole big uncertainty around the world, right? And during that time, I was just thinking, you know, there's so much time and everyone should learn something new. Uh, you know, what can I learn and how can I make better use of my time? Uh, one of the things that I picked up again after over 10 years of uh, leaving in the closet is uh, learning Japanese again. and and. You know, for the past year, I've been picking that up again and taking like uh, public tests as well. And other thing is that I've been just lurking around the YouTube platform a lot, uh, mainly to you know looking at uh, purchases. It started like thinking about, oh, maybe I should upgrade my camera. Should I buy this? Should I buy that? And uh, obviously, YouTube is a great. Uh, place to look into uh, gear reviews uh, that helped me a lot with a lot of uh, making a lot of purchases I'm very particular with my purchases and I always think that a project should uh, fund the the equipment itself and the equipment should really have to justify with uh, particular functions that you don't already have and so uh, kind of lurking around YouTube in terms of that. And while I was doing that, obviously also watching uh, whatever YouTube suggests, uh, which sometimes photo tutorials comes, comes up on the side and I just started clicking one. And so I was just thinking, oh wow, like there are a lot of people also learning something new and one of those things are uh, photography. And photography uh, tutorials 
basically can date back to you know, a long, long time ago, but really like booming as a trend since 2017, 18. And I've been kind of watching all the videos like dating back to those. And uh, they're all like, you know, really, really interesting uh, to me. But there's like just one particular thing that's just kind of popped into the back of my head or is this little tiny bit of fire that kind of burning in me is like oh there's something missing there's something missing I, I don't know what is it but I'm the only person that cares about it or is it like other people also thinking about it uh, because a lot of the audience for uh, watching these kind of tutorials are mostly beginners and uh, or or kind of amateur photographers and I'm just thinking oh so it's 2020 when I was like kind of thinking about starting my YouTube channel uh, during COVID and people must have improved by then right like after two three years people must have improved some people might have turned these kind of uh, uh, mundane jobs and squeezing in some freelance work or even turn it around and turning the photography side becoming their main business and just you know quitting their old job and so I was thinking, so all these tutorials are basically geared towards beginners. What do they do after they really took a step, you know, further? I've been watching a lot of these videos and it's kind of separates between two camps. One is uh, kind of very art theory uh, conceptual kind of video that almost feels like you can use it as a lecture you can play it to like students across uh, different continents who are, who are taking the same credit course uh, in a particular university uh, maybe talking about one particular concept in photography and the video plays for like half an hour uh, a lot of talking heads and a lot of uh, showing masterpieces, you know, people who are either um, maybe some of them are dead and some of them are really, really old. Uh, great, great photos, but just seen too many times over and over again. And then there's an other camp where are like, oh, quick five tips to shoot like a pro, you know, which are great. The explanation part sometimes feels a bit lacking to me is that oh so in this way or doing this will make your photos look cool or uh, interesting or professional or just um, really uh, engaging you know like th those kind of vague adjectives because just kind of like uh, it sort of gets to me where ah like I wish uh, people articulate a bit more okay so maybe there's this little pocket where i can actually think of some sort of uh, youtube videos to to share and hopefully people will resonate just give a different um opinion or options to people so as soon as i had this idea that okay i should really start uh, a youtube channel that kind of talks more about um the idea of photography that uh, what really affects how people perceive these images and not not just uh, teaching people like what to do and then the photos will look good so about the video contents like I've been thinking about oh so how should I um, kind of um, you know pave my 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 path or like forge a new path for kind of the YouTube photos tutorial uh, trend. So I just decided that okay going back to basic the foundation of uh, art theory and photography is to uh, look at these art vocabularies. Each word has so much to talk about and so much to apply. Why don't I just start doing one vocabulary at a time and kind of give some tips on how to approach that idea within photography and sometimes maybe about filmmaking as well if that applies. To uh, bridge between the kind of art theory heavy videos and the very quick and easy tips to get you know professional looking images kind of videos I wanted to produce something in between and all kind of uh, packaged and designed in a way that is not time wasting and just 
more kind of a real life uh, examples that is uh, approachable like you can feel like you can apply uh, if you if you try it on a certain shoot that's coming up or just kind of uh, use that as a as an assignment a fictional assignment for yourself you know I went and shoot uh, the very first video on negative space uh, I, I basically try to shoot uh, for the topic every time and and also include some of the images from the studio archive um, to mix in so uh, almost 99.9% .9 are original uh, contents and just press record and push the video out right the hardest thing for me is that believe it or not I'm a very much an introvert and talking to the camera was just so hard for me like being behind the camera to being in front of the lens I just have to continuously remind myself that okay I am learning something new and and this the whole process of uh, producing videos for YouTube and and preparing uh, what to talk about what to share and and what to uh, include in my edit is all a learning process and the same thing goes to you whoever is watching these videos and and learning each of these concepts that I share uh, and how to make use of them in your photography are also learning something new right so we're both in basically on the same boat and uh, we're trying to learn together so this is great if you're thinking of starting your YouTube channel this year in 2021 or next year 2022 um, I think my, my biggest advice what kind of quality content that people would uh, appreciate uh, to me is the most important because it's a it's very much a marathon I believe that starting something uh, this year doesn't mean that it will end this year it's gonna last for a long time and hopefully benefit people for a long time so it's all about giving and hopefully uh, if you're thinking of a channel uh, and for YouTube I hope that you're thinking about giving I hope that you are um, thinking about you know what kind of quality content that will last over uh, at least more than a year or two um, that would be the biggest advice uh, for you I think yeah man so uh, photography is very much a uh, interesting medium is is quick and easy but also very deep and uh, just powerful it has so much uh, potentials and very uh, versatile um, applications for uh, whatever you want to do and uh, also it's just a very basic way to appreciate uh, all the beautiful things around us uh, just the mundane simple daily things that we kind of miss out if we get too busy so uh, continue to create and please uh, continue to follow this channel subscribe if you don't mind because it really helps the visibility of the channel and the videos that I produce um, and also uh, hit the bell button so that you will be notified if there's any kind of new video coming out uh, I'll try to produce more of these videos it is still a side hustle for me um, the studio is is quite busy day to day and uh, on that side I also continue to try and produce quality work so when you have when you have a high standard for quality for kind of anything that you do is, is quite difficult as well so please be patient um, follow me on Instagram that is gabrielleung.jpg uh, gabrielleung.jpg uh, to get inspirations and updates what, on what's coming up next so thank you so much for your support and I really really couldn't thank you enough uh, for everyone that's watching and uh, just supporting uh, all along this is the very beginning of a community and I really don't know what to expect a few years time looking back but uh, I really appreciate uh, walking alongside with all of you so thanks again and I will see you later bye